We were able to hear a story from a Holocaust survivor, and he talked about his stories and experiences. His story was really emotional and deep. Um, there was some things I didn't even know happened. Um, for example, he said that his mom, when she was relieved from one of the camps, she got a lot of calls from like tax collectors saying like, oh, you haven't paid your taxes in two years and we, you need to pay your taxes. And of course she was like, well, I was in a concentration camp for two years. And he talked about his struggles with like being alone and like he was only three years old at the time. It was really hard for him and it's still hard for him even to this day to be alone because he knows that feeling of just like not knowing what to do because he was separated from his parents just that feeling of emptiness and not knowing where to go um, so it was really emotional to like be in that room and hear what he had to go through and after he told his entire story he talked about how it was our job to go out and share his story with others and spread that history and continue the story because there's a lot of people who experienced the Holocaust, they're gonna be gone in just like 10 years. There are a lot of them are older. He was 86. Um, so it was really his ask of us to like spread our story and continue for generations to come on. Like when we have kids to make sure that the Holocaust is still lived on and people understand like what happened. And I've taken the inspiration to just like try to build a better community for others so that others won't have to go through injustices in the world and try to um, do what I can as a person on this in this society and a part of a community to um, make it better for people so that something like the Holocaust or just the different experiences that um, he had to go through doesn't happen for others.